we know that electromagnetic radiations carry energy in waves. So when these energy carrying waves strike any material particle, they produce some change in the particle. The study of the effects of interaction between electromagnetic radiation and matter is called spectroscopy. Thus, spectroscopy is the study of interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter. There are two ways in which the interaction between electromagnetic radiation and matter can take place. By absorption and by emission. Let's first discuss about absorption. When the electrons present in atoms or molecules of the matter absorb energy from electromagnetic radiation falling on it, they jump from ground state to excited state. This phenomenon is called absorption. Now let's discuss about emission. When the atoms or molecules present in the matter jump from excited state to the ground state, they release electromagnetic radiation. This is called emission. Spectroscopy is extensively used to study the internal structure of matter, especially molecules of complex organic or inorganic compounds. Some of the major advantages of using spectroscopy over trivial methods of structural determination of complex compounds are It is a very less time consuming. The amount of sample required is very less. Although the setup cost of spectroscopy is high, but it's very cost effective in long run. Note that, in both absorption and emission, the energy of electromagnetic radiation absorbed or released is equal to the difference between the energy of the excited and ground states.